Hey, Pulse Warriors! It's Coach J Lo here, bringing you another workout that you can complete at home during this time. So let's have some fun today. I've got Coach Ashley here with me today, and we are providing to you a posterior chain muscular endurance workout. So what does that mean? We're going to tax that backside. We're going to engage the core quite a lot, and it's going to be a sports performance type workout. So we're going to burn some calories, have some fun, and hopefully this is going to be your favorite hour of the entire day today. Okay, so let's let's get started, shall we? I'll take a high five, Ash. All right. Okay, so we're going to start here with your warm up. Um, Ash, come on right by by me here. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to warm up that backside, starting here uh, just with a little flow. So feet are somewhat close together. We're going to bend over here at the waist, keep a nice flat back. You're going to feel a stretch here through the hamstring. Just grab the back of your calves if you want, pull your chest in. Good. So we're just kind of keeping a slight bend here in the knees and feeling a stretch through the hamstrings and the calves, right? So we're going to just collapse it down. You can arch that back if you need to. Slowly walk it out into plank position. Good. So we come to that locked out position right here. I'm gonna just separate my feet a little bit so it's more of a tripod. Push that ground away, Ash. Good, start to bring that tummy in tight. We've got oblique crunches. So I'm gonna bring my knee up to the elbow on the outside. Let's start with the right side and crunch. Good, set it back. Other side, crunch. And you'll notice we're trying not to move that spine at all. We're using our muscle control to bring that knee up and we're just slowly starting to fire up the core. We got one more time. Each side right here, and back to plank. Now without rocking the hips, slowly walk those hands to the feet. We're gonna hang out here at the bottom. Grab those toes if you want. See if you can flatten out your back. Keep those knees soft, and just pull yourself in, feel that stretch. Let's rock it all the way up to the top, and three big shoulder circles right here. Just starting to loosen up. On this last one, guys, go ahead and clasp the hands behind the back. I'm going to pull those shoulders open. Good. So we've got good mornings for you. Come on, bend on over at the waist. So it's just a hinge right here at the waist. Reach for the ceiling. And then bring it back up. Let's go a couple more shoulder rolls. One, two, another clasp behind the back. Pull those shoulders open. Nice flat back, tummy tight. And we reach for the ceiling. Good. From here, Ash, drop your hands. All of you at home, drop your hands. We're going to walk it out one more time. Come out to that plank position. So just like what we did before, we're going to add on. We've got three Spider-Man crunch each side. So from that solid plank, drive that knee up and back and up and back. Hopefully you've got a towel. <laughs> it's not going to take too long before we start sweating on the ground here. From that last one, let's go ahead and bring that foot up into runner stretch. So I'm bringing it forward here. Check that hip alignment. Make sure the knee's over the toe. I'm sorry, knees over the heel, not over the toe. And then we pulse it down here. Go ahead and open it all the way up to the ceiling. Push that ground away. Nice big stretch. And back down to center. So Ash, drop that back leg. And we're going to go into a lunge here. Bring your chest upright, OK? So from this position, we're going to stretch out that hip flexor and quad. I want you to tuck your hips under at home, OK? So tuck your hips under. So that's going to create a little bit of a stretch here. And then to intensify, we're just going to reach up and over laterally to that right side. Ooh, who's feeling tight after this week of workouts? Yeah. Good. Bring it back down. I'm going to take that right foot out. We may have to separate here a little bit. Right foot comes out. Now look at what I've done. I've planted my foot, but my toe's still facing forward. Okay, so we're going to open up those inner thighs. Go ahead and sink it back right here. Ooh, get a good inner thigh stretch. Somebody said we did a lot of inner thighs this week. <laughs> it's just, we're we're trying to really get creative here with what we have. Go ahead and just bring those hips forward. Give me a squeeze at the top. Sink it back. Let's go five of these here. Five and four and three and two and last one. All right, let's bring those hands here. Go back to that plank position. Probably feeling a little lopsided right now, so <laughs> let's go ahead and take to the left side. Give me that runner stretch on the left, and then we check the knee, make sure it's over the ankle, and we pulse it down right here, opening up those hips a little bit. All right, gaining some flexibility. Reach for the ceiling. Good. From this position, push that ground away. Open up that chest. Feel that stretch. Excellent. And come back down. So remember, we're going to drop that right knee this time come all the way up into that lunge position. From here, we're gonna tuck that pelvis under, 
feel the stretch here. Reach it laterally to the side. How's that feel, Ash? Real good. Always tighten the hips. Oh. All right, here we're gonna hold for like another 10 seconds. Should feel good. Feel that hip flexor start to open up a little bit. And then bring it back down. Okay, inner thigh stretch on the left side. I kick the legs straight out, flatten that foot, toe forward, sink it on back. Ooh, feel that stretch right here in the inner thigh. And then glute squeeze at the top. Hips go back, hips come forward. Hips go back, hips go forward. We got two more just like this. And then last one. How's the heart rate, Ash? Pretty low. Let's get it up, shall we? Let's go into that plank position. Okay, guys, push that ground away. Open up those shoulders. Let's drive mountain climbers right to the middle. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Hold that plane. We're going into plank jacks next. Kind of ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Back to mountain climbers. Double time. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and plank jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, guys. All the way. Two and one. Very nice. Come on to your for your uh, knees right here. All right, we've got a lot of squats and lunges for you today. Muscular endurance is high reps. We're gonna burn out those muscles. So let's start warming up those glutes a little bit. We're gonna start with that lunge. So. Come in right here, I want one knee ahead. So let's start with the right leg. When we come up, I want you to pretend like you're pulling a rope. So we're gonna drive that heel and just push those hips forward. So drive up just on that right side. So see how our hips come all the way forward? The glutes are squeezing. Go ahead and come back down. Reach out and pull. We've got 10 of these here on the right side. Driving through the heel. Three, four, five. Good, keep squeezing. Six. You got it, come on. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and last one, 10. Oh, heart rate's a little high now. You should get your heart rate up on that one. If you're not, you're not thrusting hard enough, all right? Let's go down into that lunge, left side. We'll thrust in it like it's a Friday night, Ashley says. Here we go, let's drive up, right through the heel. That's one. We got 10 on the left. Using the breath. Exhale as you come up, pulling that rope, stretch in the back, what number are we on? Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to warm up those lunges a little more. Great. Face me or face your partner or face the mirror. We've got quick lunge switches. So we're going to take that right leg forward, that left leg up. We're going to use the swing of our body. What's our number? 20? I won't be able to talk after this. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's halfway. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, legs are starting to feel warm. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, little quads and glutes. All right, that we're warming up the lunge. Now we're gonna go into that squat, right? Warming up the squat on this one. Let's go into a wide stance here. Feet are still facing forward. We're gonna uh, squat it down, keeping that chest upright. So this is with me, Ash. When I'm in this position, we're gonna find a natural flow and rhythm. I want you to pull those arms out in front. Really open up that back. Pretend like there's a rope right here. At the same time, you pull back, you throw those hips forward. Let's try it again. Nice big, and then pull. Good, open it up. And then pull. Good. We're going to do 10 of these. Find your own rhythm at home. Okay, what feels good? See if you can coordinate the upper body with the lower body here. And breathe. Uh. One more. Excellent. Good. Let's continue with that squat position. We'll go shoulder width apart this time, right here. So three quarter squat. Ash has no idea what's coming. <laughs> Neither do you guys. We're gonna, you just gotta keep up right here. So what we're gonna do is squeeze those glutes in this position, right? Quads are on fire, glutes are on fire. 
I'm gonna shift my weight to the left side. Okay, so now I'm just on that one heel. I'm gonna take my other foot, tap it out, and then bring it back together. Tap, together, tap, together. Here's 10, nine, eight. Ooh, that boot's firing up. We're getting ready for some squats today. Lots of reps, lots of burn. I hope you're ready for it at home. Here's three, two, and one. Plant it back down. Shift weight to the right side. Feel that weight is in your heel. Glutes fired up. You start to tap it out. Now as you do this, your chest is up. Tummy is in. And you feel the burn. Feel the burn. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's 10. I think I did a few extra. It's all good. I needed more on this side. That's why my counting's off. And anybody I've ever trained before knows I'm the best counter in the world. That's a, that's a joke. Four, three, two, and one. Face me. Face your partner. Face the mirror. We got squat jumps. What's your number, Ash? Looks like a 20. 20? Oh my goodness. We're going 20. I would have said 10. She says 20. We got 20. Yeah, guys, let's get that burn. Here we go. Down and up. One, two, three, four. You'll see these again in this workout. I promise you, Ash, what number are we on? Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Off and up. Good, guys. You should be feeling pretty good and warmed up right now. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water if you need it. We're going to go into our first weighted set. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. All right. You want <laughs> What's your weight, girl? She wants 10s. 10s, 12s, 15s, whatever you're feeling. Like I said, high reps today, high reps. Isometric moves, plyo moves, all kinds of crazy stuff, okay? All right, on this first one, we are gonna start with a weighted squat step up. On this one, we're gonna start in that kneeling position just like we did in the warm up. only we're not gonna stand all the way up. We're gonna keep it nice and low. It's gonna be a lot of time under tension, okay? So we're gonna take those weights in front of us. All right, right here in a kneeling position. Grab them up, take those shoulders back. Oh, she's gonna put them on top, that's fine. Either here or here, your choice, all right? So from here, go ahead and plant that foot in. Yeah, so you're gonna drive up to that heel, stay low. Add that second foot. My butt's squeezing, right? Down with the right, down with the left. Good. We're trying to keep those hips from rocking. Up, up, down, down. We got 10 of these. Here we go. Alternating side to side. Keeping those weights steady, right? Keeping that back active. Ooh, we're feeling it. How are you guys doing at home? Stay with me here. Stay with me, stay strong. Keeping everything tight. Try not to move too much to those hips. Controlled movement. Very good, throw those weights to the side. Let's go ahead and kick it up into a downward jog, a little active recovery here. I wanna pedal those calves out. So if you feel any restriction, guys, in your squats, a lot of times it's due to the ankle. So just pedaling your calves on the floor, working on your dorsiflexion can definitely help. So let's stay here for about 20 seconds. And just some deep breaths into the nose, out through the mouth, like we always say. Yeah, let's get those calves stretched out. Looking good, looking good. And then let's go ahead and walk those hands to the feet. Get that final calf stretch right here. Oh and roll it on up. All right, so you know here at Pulse we like to progress things whenever possible. And I know some of you warriors out there like to always take things to the next level. So you have your choice on round two to grab up those weights and do exactly what we just did, okay? 10 step ups total, keeping it nice and low, keeping that body locked out in a tight position. If you're super badass and you're feeling it today, we're taking this to plyo. Ash? Oh, yep. Ah, you ready? So ready. Should we face each other? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Sometimes it helps to face each one, other or face us. One, what we're going to do is we're going to sink those hips back. 
some active recovery because my heart rate's high. Go ahead and lay on your back here. We're going to take that one leg up and over. Exhale and twist out that back. Just let that leg come over to the floor. Whatever feels good. Guys, if this feels good to you, do it. If it doesn't, skip it. We're just bringing that heart rate down. 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other. Breathing through. Oh, that feels good. And back to center. Did anybody at home get through all 10 of those reps? I'd like to know. Real tough. Are we doing it again? So this time I think Ash and I will start. Let's start with the 10 plyo moves. Then we're gonna go into the 10 step ups so you can watch us again. Both are very um, effective and a lot of fun, right? Oh yeah. All right, Ten. here we go. We're starting with five here and then we're going into that weighted step up. Guys, if you're with us, Let's get busy. Here we go. Four, five. Oh, four. I love these. <laughs> we don't do these nearly enough. Who needs barbells? <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's one. Woohoo! Time to pick up those weights. Starting in that kneeling position. Shoulders back, nice and tight. Keep it low, guys. Keep it low. Keep it controlled. Let's go one more. Even it out. And time. Good work. Breathe. Now, we're going to take a quick break. Quick drink, I mean. And then we've got a fun little Tabata for you guys that's really going to spike your heart rate because I know we need it, right? <laughs> right, AJ? AJ's behind the camera, in case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> He's filming us today. He's so Sorry. wish. He is so wishing he was doing this workout with you guys because <laughs> he didn't get nearly <laughs> enough yesterday. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into... <laughs> we're gonna go into 20 seconds on, 10 second recovery, three rounds, just a modified mountain climber. So we're gonna start mo uh, playing position here. This is a great quad burner and core burner. Okay, so we're gonna start in plank position. I'm gonna jump my feet up and I'm gonna jump my feet back. That's it, simple Simon. Let's see how fast you can go. Here we go. In, out, in, out, in, out. We should have made them do it for numbers instead of time. Let's go, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. And breathe. So obviously your goal on that one is not just to go up way up in the air, okay? You're not piking up, we're pulling the legs in. Using the leg muscles, keeping the butt low, shoulders nice and tight, locked out. We gotta go again, 10 seconds. All right, let's count this time. Let's go 15 reps total. Ash, you're counting, here we go. One, workouts with you guys. I never get to do my own classes. It's kind of fun, right? Warriors get to see me sweat. <laughs> All right, we got one more round of this. 15 reps again, guys. Let's knock it out on your own. Here we go, Ash, you're counting. Five more. Four, three, two, and... 
Drink. Drink. <laughs> so, muscular endurance workout. We want to really engage the core. We're going to work on uh, keeping that posture really good. So, I want you to think about a nice long spine. If you've seen me do this before, standing upright as, as tall as you can, right? We always want to work out how we want to look. So, it's a nice, tall, upright position. We're going to try that with weighting one side, okay? So we add weight to one side, we want to pull to one side naturally. I'm going to challenge you guys on these suitcase squats to keep that nice, long, straight spine as we squat. A lot of reps on this, you need both dumbbells, okay? I want you to set those dumbbells up right in front by a squat, okay? Okay, on the suitcase, we're going to start on the right side. We got five squats. Go ahead and grab up your, your weight here, guys. Feet shoulder width apart. And now do me a favor, tuck those hips under, elongate that spine, square off your shoulders. I don't want to see anything like that. Right into position. Here we go. Five suitcase squats, down and up. Down, up, two. You're going to feel that weight pull you over, and I challenge you to stand nice and tall. Last one. And we're down, hold. We're gonna pulse for five, four, three, two. Don't come out of it. Switch arms. Here we go, five suitcase squats on the left. Now we're challenging that other side. Trying to keep our, hip, our shoulders squared off. If you're in the mirror, make sure one shoulder's not dipping. Five, four, three, two. Stay down, grab that other weight. We got five. Regular squats, here we go. Up, down, up, three. Ash, just count for me. This is where I say, guys, we're just working towards the burn. Right here, nothing too crazy right now. Now, if I told you this was round one of three, how crazy would that sound? Drop the left one, just the left. Ashley, no, five, four, I said one set of three. Two, this is muscular endurance. We're here for the long haul, baby. Four, three, two, switch hands. Up and down, five times, five, four. Now it's time to get serious. Three, because that burn is coming. Two, last one, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Grab that second weight. Five full squats. Five, up, four, Three, two, one, and down for five, four, three, two. Drop the left only. Oh, square up those shoulders. Elongate that spine. Your last round. Here we go for five, four, three, two. Down we go for five, four. Fight through. I know your glutes are burning. I know your quads are burning. This is full body or full low body. Everything below the waist is on fire right now. Two. One. Pulse it for five. Four. Three. Nice and tall, guys. Two. One. Last set. Full squats for five. Bam. Four. Three. Keep with me. Don't give in. Fight for it. You're on your last five, four, three, two, one. And drop. Woo! Really good. Tell me that didn't burn. That didn't burn. All right, we're going to catch a quick drink here. All right. Feeling good, Ash? Oh, yeah. There was a plyo move that I had uh, anticipated right after that called uh, squat jumps. Ashley walked off on me. She need, she need a drink of water. I got my pulse mug here. My, I'm branding myself today. <laughs> All right, she picked 20 last time. You like that number? Oh, yeah. 20's a good number. Let's get that burn out. My legs are on fire, and we're not even close to being done. We got 20 jump squats or regular squats. Here we go. Let's finish the squat move. Great. Now, if you're really feeling it, watch that triple extension. Load and explode, load and explode. Make the most of it, come on. Put 
What number are we on? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Whew. Okay. All right. How's your recovery? How's your recovery? All right. So this is where we are going to bring the heart rate down just a little bit, guys, before we go into the next sequence. Let's go into child's. I'm going to pigeon. Pigeon pose here. So on this one, it's that 90 degree stretch in the front. Okay. I'm just gonna kick my hip all the way under here, okay? And try to sink down onto the ground. It's a little bit deeper than a 90-90. I like it, feels good. Try to keep the spine straight, sink into it, and breathe. Once you feel good and stretched out, go to the other side. So the heart rate should be coming down a little bit. Legs recovering just enough to know what they're in for. We're not doing another round of those. <laughs> but we're doing something very similar oh, with the lunges. <laughs> so we're gonna take our movement pattern from squat to lunge. We have single legs this time. Good. A couple more seconds here. Should be feeling pretty recovered. Yeah? Yep. All right. I like to walk it up. Get a little bit more hamstring and calf stretch here as we roll it on up. Fantastic. All right. Same two sets of dumbbells. Same exact concept. We're switching it from squats to lunges this time. All right? So I'm going to take that one weight. I'm going to put it in my right hand. I want everybody to do this with me. We're going to start with that right leg. Don't let that other one be too far away. Now, once again, when your weight distribution is off, you gotta force yourself to stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go into that split stance. Nothing crazy, check it out. Come on down to the ground. Look underneath of you. Is your knee right below your hip? Is your knee right above your ankle? This is the position, 90-90. Here's what the position is not, okay? So we wanna make sure our joints are stacked. We're getting that good 90 position. Tuck that toe under, press up to the heel. We're going five regular lunges all the way down. Tap and up. When you get to that top, that leg extends. Whoop. So we're going full range of motion here. Three, four, nice tall spine. Five. Now we go down and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs right away. Down for five, up. You can put that other arm out for a counterbalance. I want you to look in the mirror, make sure your shoulders are perfectly squared off, that nothing is pulling you. And down for five, three, two, one. Grab up that weight. Okay. Alternating reverse lunges, five each side. Here we go. For five, five. Good. Notice how my knee goes all the way to the ground. I don't set it down, but I find that ground, so I make sure I have that full range. Woo, how are we doing, Ash? So good. so good. Can you imagine we have three sets of this? It's the acid salt. Oh, 10, dear. 10. Oh, drop the left. All right. Woo, round two. Fill in the burn. Here we go. Down. Ash is so happy she volunteered to do this workout with us today. <laughs> four, five. Down for pulsing. Five, four, three, two. One, just when you think you can't stand it, you move to the other side. You distribute the burn evenly. Four. AJ, I'm pretty sure you'd be dying right now. I'm pretty sure there'd be a puddle underneath of you. His hand hurts. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, grab up that weight. Square off those shoulders. Here we go, Ash. For five, tap, five. Tap, stay with us. Four, four, you know the second set. It's just leading up to the burn. We're there already. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it, Ash? Oh, is that 10? Last one, she said. Just count for me. Good, drop one. This is it, guys. Round three, you've got it. Fight for it, Warriors. Here we go. We're back for five, up, four, up, three, up, two, I'm on the wrong leg, one, 
up, pulse. It's hard to think when, I, when I'm exhausted. Switch arms, left side, down, up, down, up, down, two, one. Pulse it, Ash. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, last set of alternating. All the way up, all the way down. Here we go. Five. Now, you may have seen me. Ash kept her lunge stance on that. I brought my foot forward on a couple of those. Either one works. You keep that stance open. You know, a little bit bigger burn. Right, Ashley? Yep. Woo! How many more we have? <sighs> All right, guys, come on. Last one. You're almost there. Oh! And done. Woo! I'm sweating. That was worse than what the you, What have you seen me sweat like this? Oh, my goodness. We're feeling it right now, guys. We got our plyo move, and then we're going to rest. Oh, no. I know. Lunge jumps. 20's our number. That's I want this time, I want to add a little extra challenge. We're going to try not to allow our heads to bop up and down. We're going to go into that lunge position and switch our legs quickly. Right. Yes? She said she wanted to feel this tomorrow. All right, let's face the camera, Ash. You and I together. We're going to see whose head bounces. Right leg forward. Oh, left arm up. Are we ready? The count. Here we go. Wipe that sweat off. Feeling good? How's Ash doing? <laughs> Check her out real quick. Check her out. Check her out. I am trying to kill her. All right. Let the assault continue. All right, so you guys know, this has felt very metabolic. Oh yeah. But, um, but we're gonna continue. Single arm. We got three exercises and we need double. Single, single, double once again, okay? So, kind of my concept here throughout this entire workout. I want you to grab up those weights, put them in front of you. We're gonna start with the right side. We're going with a single arm snatch, okay? So, we're gonna break down this movement for you. How about grab your right dumbbell, okay? I want you to go into a squat stance, feet shoulder width apart, okay? Chest stays upright on this one. I want you to hinge at the waist. So you're bending down. Notice how our, our dumbbells are about mid, mid calf, okay? From here, I'm gonna thrust those hips forward and that weight's gonna fly right up. Let's do it again. Try it with me right here. It's like you're zipping a coat all the way up to the top and then control that movement down. Zip up the coat and all the way down. Zip up the coat and down, break. Okay, you can look in the mirror and check that out. We're gonna try the other side, see how that goes. So switching hands. Same thing, shoulders, hips are square. I'm not here. I'm not starting like this, guys. Crank it, use that endurance, that muscular endurance, that core. All the way up, floats up, control down. Floats up, control down. We got one more for practice. And down, good. Keeping that weight really close to the body so it doesn't go into the low back. I like that the weights are nice and light today. Not to go too crazy because we're keeping that heart rate up for sure. We're gonna go into push press next. The weight's back on our right hand. I want you to put that weight right on top of your shoulder so that that energy can transfer all the way through the ground up to that overhead press. Ready, Ash? We're gonna go three quarter squat and press up and bring it down and press up. And then we find that rhythm. As we bring that weight down, our body comes down. Push, last one, up. Good. You guys have done this a lot this week. I know you've got this down. We'll just practice real quick on the left side. I want to make sure you're squared off, okay? That nothing's lopsided here. So practicing good form. Little lighter weights here. Feet are forward. Use that breath. Last one. Right there. Good. Grab up that second weight. Now we're into the doubles, okay? On this one, it's like a kettlebell swing. We've all done kettlebell swings before. It's butt back, 
butt forward, little bend in the legs. So I'm gonna get that swing going just a little bit in the arms, and then hip thrust, hip thrust, butt back, butt forward, butt back, butt forward, butt back, butt forward. Good, we got that practice. Awesome, don't let that go to your low back. Keep that core super tight in that exercise, all right? Work on that, keeping the weights light today. We're gonna go, here's our sequence. I know. Eight one arm snatches on the right. Eight one arm snatches on the left. Eight push presses on the right. Eight push presses on the left. 16 dumbbell swings. Guess how many times we do it? Three. Guess how much rest we get in between? None. <laughs> Zero. We're going for muscular endurance. Guys, I want you to take this at your own pace. I want your heart rates elevated, but I don't want you feeling like you're ready to throw up. I'm not going crazy. I'm keeping my weights left nice and light today. Just working through the movements, perfecting my form, working on keeping my core tight and my spine nice and elongated, toes forward, just good proper form. Hopefully I'm demonstrating that. I know Ash is. She always does. She always makes me look good. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Stand upright, fix your stance, arm out to the left. We should face each other. Let's, fa uh, let's face each other. You guys can keep watching us. I hope you have a partner at home you're facing as well. If not, you get to watch Ash and I today. Tummy's in, Ash. Here we go. We're down. Bam. One, two, three. Any tips you want them to know on this? Just kick some ass. All right. He says, kick some ass. Distract them. Last one. Switching arms. One thing I will say, go ahead, join me. No stopping. <laughs> One thing I will say is control that weight on the way down. Here's what I don't want. Sha! Okay, that's all low back in not a good way. So just control it on the way up and on the way down. How many more? And down. Right hand again. Get that weight on top. You can set it on top like this or just set it here. Transferring the energy from the feet. Check your stance. Here we go. Pop. Switch hands. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not drop that weight. We got 16. Here we go. Kettlebell or uh, dumbbell swing. Oops. Hip thrust two, three. How far do they want to bend down? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do not let those dumbbells come below your knees, guys. Keep going, Ash. Keep going. Here's what I do not want. I don't want anything way down here, guys. I want to keep those dumbbells right above the knees. It's a hip thrust. All right, so we don't want to go to the low back. Oh, that's run one. Run one. Oh, oh, I'm talking. Oh. All right, we got round two, guys. Round two. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Square off shoulders, square off hips. Good proper form. Here we go. Let's get some. Bam. That left side. Yeah, here we go. Bam. Now, obviously, if you want to increase the intensity on this workout, what you're going to do is grab yourself a little heavier dumbbell, right? You're going to work through that speed. You can always increase the speed, and you can de keep decrease rest. Push rest. It's a little faster. Our heart rate just went up, right? As we increase. Oh, right away. Keep that going, girl. There we go, kettlebell heart. Dumbbell swings. We ain't got no kettlebells at home. J-Lo, I had to use my dumbbells. But back, butt forward. But back, butt forward. Hips, hips. 
Glutes! Glutes! Oh! Oh! Oh man! I'm dripping. Hope you guys are dripping too. I hope you're a big strong guy at home right now. So, the, the more muscle mass you have, the harder muscular endurance workouts are. They're hard for anybody, especially when you have good muscle mass. So if you're dying, just know that means you got a lot of muscle. And we get ya, we hear ya, we feel ya. Last set. What do we say? Last set, last set. Here we go. I hope they said that at home. Let's do it. Last set. Last set. Oh, I hear him, Ash. I hear him. How many more? Two. I don't think they're counting ours. I think they're counting their own. Here, here we go. The heavier that dumbbell, the more energy you gotta transfer from your low body to get it up overhead. Same thing on these push practices. Here we go. we're not talking anymore. <laughs> there's, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> the heart rate's high. That's the reason. All right, but even when the heart rate's high, there's no time for bad form. So tuck that belly button into the spine. Shoulders back. Stand upright. Here we go. Let's go. Two, three, four. All together. Stay with me. Seven. Halfway. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh, drop them like they're hot. Man. That was evil. That was an assault. On the ass. Ass assault. <laughs> or, as they sometimes say, you've been gay load. <laughs> not yet. It's not over yet, though. We got the final finish of the day. It's time to bring our heart rate down just a little bit. We got some black bands somewhere. I picked you the tightest one, actually. I just knew she wanted it. Just like I know you guys want it. Okay? Just a little muscle soreness to know you worked hard. Okay. Shell said we're almost done. Eh. So I'm going to have Ash go here on the wall. All right? I'm going to hand her away. So turn around. You're going to go into a wall pit. Find a spot at home. Just a blank wall. Put your little black band on right above the knees. Okay, she's going to go to a 90 degree sit. Right there. Good. Now, knees are right above the heels. I just spring them out just a tiny little bit. There we go. I'm going to hand her this weight. Go ahead and just put that weight out in front of you, Ash. She's going to keep her shoulder blades up against the wall and then bring it in and bring it in. And then what's, what's that doing? What's that working right now? Everything. Everything. Every damn thing on the body. Over here, I've got 20 hip thrusts. Up, down, up, down. You're hanging out till I'm finished. If you have a partner and you want to be super evil, because that's really hard. If you want to be a little friendlier, you just get it done. Are you ready? Set. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nine, eight, I'm halfway there, Ashton. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoot a pulse, high five in between. Watch her go nice and slow and kill me here. I'm waiting for the very last second. All right, I'm down, shoulders back. Weights out. Now, if you're in wall sit and this hurts your low back at all, it means you don't have it pressed up against the wall. I want you to do that. You should feel like somebody's punching you right here in the gut. You can hold it out like this if that's better for you. It's whatever level you are at. Sometimes the weight might just be enough. You can put it on your waist, put it on your legs. So you have lots of options. I like sometimes doing this. Taking it right overhead. Yeah. Time? Time. Yeah, I 
got out of that. <laughs> I got out of that a little bit by talking. We're gonna go one more round of this, and then we're calling it a day. Yes? Oh, yeah. One more round. Oh. All right, 20 more hip thrusts. Ish, whatever variation you want. Here I go. Now, if you're doing these at home by yourself, you know what the best number is. I gave you 20 as a way to sh as a number to shoot for, but if you're not fully burned out, I probably could have done another 20 right there, to be honest with you. Depending on how uh, tight your black band is, if you're doing this on your own, just go till you feel the burn, right? Once you get to that burn, do another 10. Once you get to the burn, do another 10. Because Ash and I are doing it together, we're just gonna count 20. We're just gonna count to 20. But you know, don't stop till the job is done. Here we go. Pull it out. Bird for sure. Huh. Oh, very nice. And I'm ready to take that band off. I bet you are too. If you're not, go ahead and keep it on and you may continue for as long as you want. But for now, we're going to stretch it out. We're in the post recovery, guys. Always take just a couple seconds before you go on with your day to get your heart rate back down, to reset your mind so you don't crash later in the day, and then to stretch out those muscles that we worked. Ashley, I'm gonna have you pick your favorite uh, stretch for the, for the back, for the legs. Boots, we got a couple of them we can go through. I'm gonna let Ash pick one. What's she have? What in the heck are you doing? Pigeon stretch upright. Yep. Okay. Shift the hip to the right. Shift the hip to the right. Got it. Huh? Feel it in the right glute? Yes, indeed. I'll push that one forward just a little. There I go. It's a, just a different variation of a stretch we commonly do, right? What's another way they can do this? On the back, right? Good, so when we're stretching, let's hold for about 15, 20 seconds here. Again, part of the purpose is getting our heart rate down. You guys worked really hard today, I know. <laughs> Switch inside. <laughs> so in those squats, we worked a lot of quads as well. We can stretch out the quads. You can show them a hurdler stretch. If you have a bench at home, you can always uh, use a bench to stretch. We'll switch in Recovered just a couple seconds, right? Before the rest of the day happens, before we get back switching laundry and dishes and kids and everything else on work calls. All right, this feels good in and of itself. But let's go to that 90 90 stretch that you guys know real well. Now, I want you to take that back leg, I'm just gonna tuck that foot here, okay? Then I'm gonna take my front heel and place it on top of my knee. This is gonna anchor that knee down, it's gonna give me a nice stretch here. So, I'm gonna lean back. Just like this, you can go all the way down to your elbow or all the way down on the ground if you want. And then to add a little bit, you can elongate that body, reach up and over. So good, stretch the quad, flexor. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, here we go. 90 degrees on the other side, tuck that foot under. I'm gonna take that front foot, put it right up here on the knee, and then back on my elbow, just like even into this sucker, and then, oh, good, stretch right in the quad here. Yeah. A lot of times when we do low body, when, uh, when our low body, when our big prime movers start giving out, we do have it go to our back. So let's just do a couple back stretches. Um, I like the up and over from the back. This one always works well for me. I usually get a couple cracks, it feels great. Um, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it, or do a variation of it, but I do like to stretch. Let that foot come 
and down. Once it's down, exhale, try and drive that opposite shoulder down. Let the body relax and switch sides. Foot comes down. Again, exhale. Ooh, crack. Nice. No extra charge, as they always say. And back up. Good. We work those hamstrings quite a lot. What's your favorite hamstring stretch? Andy, she says. All right. Slight bend. Go back. You want your legs locked out or bent? Slight bend in the knee, she says. Back super flat. Out. Good. This one always does the trick. Plus, you can close your eyes here and just kind of take a second to reset that mind. And let's slowly roll it up here. Guys, if you need more time to stretch it out, by all means take it. Otherwise, give me a couple shoulder rolls. I want you to take that right hand, go all, or left hand all the way up, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another! Warrior workout! Have a kick! 